You have my axe. Well, actually, my mind picked. This is Saboteur, The Lost Minds, the game. Hey guys, it's Tabletop Misfits. My name's Anthony, and we're gonna go under the lid this time with Saboteur, The Lost Minds. Now, this is a game that actually is in card form or existed in card form before this. So what Amigo did, and big thanks to Amigo, those guys are awesome, by the way. Um, they have made a board game version of it. Essentially, it's kind of more or less the same game. They did add some stuff to it, and they made it kind of more of a, um, well, a board game instead of just a flat-out card game. So we're gonna go under the lid, check out what's new here for Saboteur the Lost Minds. It's actually really popular. It's kind of been hard to keep in stock for them, so it's actually cool to see. It's a very cool game. You actually play dwarves, and you're mining. However, not everybody's on the same page with this whole mining operation thing, you know? Everybody's got their own thing. So you'll find some people are actually kind of almost like a trader mechanic are trying to mess everybody up. Why? Who knows? Maybe they're Dark Dwarves or Drugar if you're subscribed to D&D. &D. Um, this is the... Uh, I got off track there with the whole Drugar D&D &D thing, didn't I? Yeah, I think so, we're getting off the rails. We're getting off the rails here, okay, guys? So this is the uh, instruction manual for Saboteur the Lost Mines. Um, a lot of similar iconography from the first one. However, this lays it out really well. I love the way they do the, uh, the instruction book. Like this is actually kind of cute with the little fold out. Kind of keep going. Very cool. Um, you got your cardboard tokens here. You got your dwarves, of course. I actually like the art for this. this is actually pretty cute. Um, they kind of like, you got one with a raven. Why would one have a raven? I don't know. One's got a raven, one's got a lantern, which makes sense in mine. One's got a hammer. Typical dwarvy, happy, furry guys looking, you know, dwarves. You got your blue dwarves, which one guy's got a, a it looks like a fedora with horns, I want to say, I, I guess. But he looks cool. I would say that's a definitely interesting. Is It's like a... It looks like, you know what, this looks like dwarves cosplaying. That's what it is. It's dwarves cosplaying, I want to say. They, they all look like they're dressed up as uh, bigger people's roles, you know. It's like this guy's a, a, a wizard, you know, it looks like Gandalf, you know. Uh, this is like Indiana Jones the dwarf. Very cool, though. I like that. That's actually really cute. They always have a good tongue-in-cheek style with their stuff. Um, you have counters, of course, point counters and different um, tokens for things in the game. Uh, here is our board that makes up the core of the new board game. I'm gonna open this on up. Ah, boah. Here we go. So you have your lost minds. Now, if you guys played the card game at all, you know you're gonna be placing cards down as you mine through your different areas and everybody starts from one end and goes towards the other side. Um, am I forgetting anything here, Miss Fatum? I think you're pretty much there, yeah. Pretty much there, yeah, no, that's, that's largely the game. So you have your cards here, right here. You're basically placing cards down as you go along. Now, I don't know if they changed anything for the board game in particular. If they had a new mechanics or not. It was a very fun, very easy game to play. It's actually kind of a, kind of a classic in that regard. Um, but yeah, you basically place your cards on. Let's pop open these cards here, show off the new art. Ugh. Uh, now, this has been um, kind of a thing for board game uh, publishers lately. They've been taking classics games that have uh, stood well to the test of time, and they've kind of been refreshing them. It's kind of an easy way for, to do it for them. You know, they don't really have to overhaul a lot. They maybe tighten up the rules, change a few things, um, hire a new art team, get fancier art and fancier components, and kind of republish the same game, more or less, um, but beautified, basically. And I, you know what? I absolutely love that practice. It's a great practice. There are some games that mechanically are perfect, but they were from you know older time when maybe the art wasn't as good, or maybe they chintzed on the components or whatever, you know. And it just it just it brings it up to this level, you know, this AAA kind of game level that I can appreciate because I love pretty things. So here's some of the cards. Uh, we have little uh, uh, mine huts. And then you have different iconography. As you go along, you mine, you get different tokens and things as you go along to help your miner. And these are what you put on the board as you go along. Um, and then these are different tokens um, that your characters get. This is really cool. And then you have your axes and different icons that you get. Um, looks very nice. Mm, let's take a look at that. That looks really cool. So yeah, so this is, uh, this is all pretty straightforward. It's a very, very solid game. Uh, Amigo makes these really great, really easy to play generally, but tactically sound games that are just, just phenomenal. So if you get a chance, guys, check this game out. It's actually really, really cool. It's a, dwar uh, it's a Saboteur of the Lost Minds. I always want to say Dwarven Saboteur of the Lost Minds because I always think of the dwarves, but uh, you know, I guess I don't want to go that route. Uh, otherwise, you have your nice box. By the way, I like the insert for this box. I thought that was cute. Kind of has a little bit of a, a little bit of flair to it. Ever got the mines digging through, uh, dwarves digging through it. 
Very, very cute. Otherwise, just stands for your characters and baggies. Nothing else too exciting there. It's a very, very nice game, though, guys. Check it out. Um, again, this is, uh, this is just a solid game, a solid recreation of, of a game that's been around for a long time. So definitely check it out. Um, again, this is what's under the lid for Saboteur the Lost Minds. Like and subscribe, guys. We really appreciate when you do that. And again, this is Anthony with Tabletop Misfits. Game on. Thank <laughs> you.